A 10-year court battle between a former smoker and British American tobacco has finally settled out of court. The landmark case is a first for Australia, so does it open the floodgates? For more, I'm joined by lawyer Sam Macedoni. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Lisa. Now, this is the case involving Roller McCabe, um, who died from lung cancer. This has been an epic battle. It was a very long battle. Uh, she took action uh, seeking damages because she'd got this lung cancer from smoking and she was met by a very vigorous defence from the tobacco company. It went for years and years. Just before the case got to court, the tobacco company shredded a lot of very important documents that would have been very useful to Mrs McCabe in court. As a result of that, the Supreme Court awarded her $700,000 in damages because these documents were destroyed. She died about seven months later, unfortunately, but the tobacco company took the matter on appeal and the Court of Appeal overturned the decision and the award of damages to her on the basis that the tobacco company had a right to do some housekeeping and clean up and destroy some documents. Mm. Uh, her family then tried to reactivate the case with other documents that they'd come across uh, and eventually uh, the tobacco company sued her for costs of in excess of $10 million that they had spent. So you can see how much resources they have to spend on a case like this. So it the was... audacity of that, when, when oh, someone has sh died of lung cancer, shocking. Just and pardon the pun, it just takes your breath away. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it just goes to show you that when you're fighting someone of this stature with that so much resource yeah. behind them, but which... In, at the same time, to them means quite a lot because if one person succeeds against them, the floodgates open and everyone else will succeed against them. So they will fight tooth and nail to make sure that does not happen. So this doesn't open the floodgates for No, it doesn't because smokers? in the end they've settled the case before it ever got to court, so we still don't have a decision. Will we ever find out? Until someone has the courage to go all the way, I guess we won't. And that someone is really going to have to have a lot of courage and a firm that backs them with a lot of money. Given what is at stake here, you'd like to think that some sort of freedom of information would be available for uh, members of the public, but we'll wait and see. Sam Macedoni, thanks very much. Thank you, Lisa.